All right, so this is a super, super quick bare bones tutorial on how to start a project in Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's just get right to it. Cineguac. I'm on a PC, but even if you're working on a Mac, it doesn't really matter. You still go through the exact same process. So let's just open up Premiere. And first thing you'll see is this loading page with artwork that changes every year you upgrade. Once it's done loading, you'll come to this welcome page. And all we wanna do is hit new project. Once we do that, let's go to where it says location and click on this browse button. So now we can just pick a folder on our computer we want to save our project file to. This project file is what we'll be clicking on every time we want to open up this particular project. So let's just go to the desktop and save it right to the desktop. Normally I create a new folder just to keep everything nice and organized, but for simplicity, let's just save it directly to our desktop. And we can just hit select folder. Next, let's just name our project whatever we want. Let's just call it start project and hit OK. So now here we have our main editing workspace. And of course, the first thing we want to do is import all of our video files and any other assets we'll be working with. So let's head over here to our project bin. And here you can either double click this area or you can just go to file, import, and then find your video files you'd like to bring into this new project. So I have an external hard drive plugged in with some footage right here. And you'll see I've already organized all of my video files into one nice concise folder and all of my audio files into another folder. So let's just first import our video folder. Select it and press import folder. When you do that, Premiere will load it all into your project bin and it might take a moment to generate all the peak files so that you're able to see your audio waveforms when you're editing. You can disable this function if you want in preferences, but I would just keep it as is and ignore it for now. Next, let's just double click this area and go back here and then import our audio folder. I have a zip file in that folder which Premiere is unable to recognize, but no worries, it'll just ignore that one file and import everything else that was in the folder. So we can just go ahead and hit OK. So now if you just drop these folders down, you'll see we have all of our audio files and all of our video files. And if we just double click on any one of our files, it'll appear in our playback monitor and we can just scrub through it if we want. To begin editing, all you have to do is click and drag that video file directly onto the timeline. Now I shot this in 4.6K resolution and whichever video file I choose to drag onto the timeline first, Premiere will automatically match your editing sequence to the resolution and frame rate of that video file. And you'll see right here, we now have a sequence that by default matches the name of the first thing we dragged onto the timeline. Just to keep things organized, we can click on this and just name our sequence whatever we want. Let's call it Edit Sequence. Now, just in case you ever want to change the dimensions or frame rate of your timeline, say you shot in 4K but you want to edit in 1920 by 1080, or you want to edit in widescreen, so you have those cinematic black bars on the top and the bottom, you can just right click on your sequence and go to Sequence Settings, and here you can change the frame rate of your sequence, or you can change the frame size dimensions. So let's say we want that cinematic widescreen look. We can change the vertical dimensions to 1920. And when we hit OK, you'll see this little warning message here. Just hit OK. Our footage is now cropped on the top and bottom, giving it those fancy black bars. Once you've done all this, you are now completely ready to edit your video. Hopefully you learned a thing or two. As always, these videos take a long time to put together, so show me some love, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you next time.